Bill Doyle, Worcester Telegram. Just what kind of feeling are you left with at the end of the season? Is it one that you felt the team went as far as it could go, considering Isaiah was hurt and you were playing such a great team, or are you disappointed it ended so early? What, what's your feeling? I mean, we're definitely disappointed. I mean, you know, I feel like if we weren't, it would be a problem. We all feel like, um, you know, we put ourselves in a great position to, you know, go further in the season, especially the last game. We were in a good place to be able to win a second game in a row, but it's been unfortunate for us. Um, you know, the injuries and and not only that, us not being able to finish games the way we wanted to. I mean, we've been playing against a very good team. All credit to those guys, but we feel like we should be here and we feel like we should be a championship contending team. Um, the great thing about this is the experience we were able to go to the Eastern Conference Finals, learn a lot about, um, learn a, a lot about you know being this being in this position, and I feel like it's going to help us for next year. Uh, Avery Michael Pina, Vice Sports. How would you say that uh, you've grown as an individual on the court this season, and what did you learn about yourself in this series? I mean, I learned a lot. Um, you know, I, as a player. Um, you know, the coaches, the players, my teammates, they pushed me the entire year um, to be the best player I can be. But um, it's all credit to those guys. They brought the best out of me. Um, every single practice, every single time we watched film, um, as far as holding me accountable, those guys just wanted me to be the best player I could be. And um, I feel like them pushing me every single day and Brad pushing me every day made me the player I am. And I'm going to use this time during the summer to continue to grow as a player so I can come back next year and help our team in any way I can. Jared White, CLNS Media and Celtics blog. You guys really were competitive on the road, but were blown out at home. What do you think was the difference for the way that you guys elevated your level? Um, I think um, we've always responded, um, you know, to the doubt, um, people not believing in us. And um, it was just unfortunate today. We got a bad start, and we couldn't get the lead. I mean, we had some great stretches where we were playing good basketball, but the start of the game was so bad, I, I feel like it was hard for us to come back. Even when we scored six or seven points in a row, I mean, we were still down by 20 points. So um, like I said, we can learn from all the mistakes that we made this year, um, get better as individuals over the summertime, and be ready for next year. Avery, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com to your right. Um, obviously, a feeling of disappointment had to have been felt in that locker room, but there must have been some feeling of, of accomplishment of what you guys have been able to do. When you look at this season as a whole, uh, what was just the environment in the locker room when you guys kind of talked to each other and in a few moments, relived what you guys were able to accomplish this season? Um, yeah, I mean, after the game, obviously, we were all disappointed in um, the way we were ended the season, especially with the losses at home. But um, like you said, we were able to take a lot of positives away. I mean, we, out of all the teams in the NBA, we're one of the three teams left at this time of the year. And, um, you know, that was one of our goals. Obviously, our main goal is to get make it to the championship and win it. But for us to be in the Eastern Conference Finals after the first year of this team really being together, adding additions like Al Horford and Gerald Green, I mean, I can go down a list of guys that we needed to learn to play with. And for us to talk about where we wanted to be and actually make it, I mean, it's a it's a big big time accomplishment, but we have to, um, you know, this leaves a certain taste in our mouth. Getting here and um, not getting to the championship. I mean, the Cleveland just outplayed us in this series. Credit to those guys, but um, we'll be a better team next year, and we will make sure that you know we 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 put ourselves in a great position to make the Eastern Conference Finals and give ourselves a, a better chance of making the championship. Avery, Steve Bell, Pat Boston, Harold. Um, just, you know, every summer that there's turnover in any roster, considering the way you guys had developed as a group, is that going to be a little bit extra difficult this year? Yeah, it could be. I mean, it's out of our control as players. Um, you know, the org organization is going to do whatever's best for the Celtics, which I, I totally, to totally respect. And I know my teammates do as well, but. Um, can't worry about that. We um, had a great year together. Um, if guys are here, if guys aren't, um, we all wish the best for each other. But I do feel like this is a special group. We all 
gave our heart every single night, played as hard as we could, and um, I respect all my teammates, and I really appreciate it um, playing with all the guys I had a chance to play with this year. Special group. Hey, Avery. Nick Coy from ABC6 in Providence. Uh, you were here with the, the previous group with, with Paul and with Kevin, and obviously when you, know, you were knocked out of the Eastern Conference Finals back then, it was the end of that group. Do you feel like now, obviously disappointed being knocked out of these East Finals, this group is just getting started on the road to what it really wants to accomplish? I do. Like I said, this is our first year together, um, adding Al Horford, who's a very good player, and um, I feel like you only get better the more you play with each other. And, um, you know, the sky's the limit for this team if we're able to keep together core guys and add some new pieces. Um, you know, I feel like Danny Ainge and um, our entire organization do a great job of putting the right guys together to help us be a contender for a championship. Thank you, Thank you guys.